a beautiful week. The weather has been so super nice and we've done nothing but chill on the beach. And I thought I would do a video on my last day here to let you know how I'm feeling about my gray hair on the beach. Like, this is my first trip to the beach where I have all of this gray hair. The last The last time I was on the beach was in um, like February of this year. I had just like the gray was really just starting to show while we were on our vacation. And so now it's 10 months later and I have all this gray hair. And I said in my earlier video this week that it was kind of giving me some mixed feelings. And so I just thought I would share with you all and, and just see if you kind of feel the same way I do. Like if you have gray hair, have, are you in the middle of your transition, whatever your process is, have you found yourself in an environment or in a situation where you really felt unsure of yourself? I'm gonna be honest, other than the first like three months when the gray was coming out and everybody was starting to realize what I was doing and kind of talk about it, beyond that, I, it hasn't bothered me at all. And it really didn't bother me that much in the beginning. But for some reason, on the beach this week, the gray hair has kind of made me feel a little bit insecure. And I've been thinking about it a lot this week. And what I've come to the conclusion of is, when people come to the beach, they kind of bring the best version of themselves everybody kind of lets loose and they get prepared for the beach they bring their best bathing suits and their favorite clothes and like you all saw me at home last week getting ready for the beach i got my eyebrows done and i painted my toenails and my fingernails and so of course i brought the best version of myself so when i'm here on the beach and you you just sit here all day long and you read and you watch people walk by and of course you check everybody out that's what I do I'm sure you do it too and at first glance to me everybody looks fantastic because they brought their best self so but as the week goes on I really started to realize that everybody kind of has their own flaws and their own securities it might be the, their body for one particular lady or it might be their bathing suit for another lady or it might be um, their hairstyle like I don't know what it is I'm just kind of making all this up in my head but for me this week honestly it's been my gray hair and I'm not I'm just not sure like I look around at all these women who seem to be sort of my age and they have beautiful hair it's not gray I have been the only woman on the beach this week that I have seen with gray hair other than ladies that are like 65 and older I'm 48 so nobody this week around me has appeared to be in my age bracket and have gray hair so it's made me feel just a little bit weird this week I haven't second-guessed myself though I'm not gonna go back and color my hair it's just made me feel kind of like the odd person out. And because that's kind of going on in my head, I guess, then I started to like think about some other things. Like I'm not in my best beach body shape. <sighs> Y'all, I just don't know that I have the energy to do it anymore. Like when I was 30 and even 40, I mean, I still work out, I still go to my boot camp, but I don't really care to anymore watch what I'm eating. If I want to eat the key lime pie, which I did for breakfast this morning, I had a huge slice of key lime pie for breakfast. That's what I want to do, and I'm going to do it. Like, who cares if I have a little belly? Once I leave the beach, who cares? I cared about it while I was on the beach this week, sort of but not enough to, to not eat the key lime pie for breakfast. It was good. Uh, Randy had a couple bites. The girls had their key lime pie yesterday. Maxie got to have his licks of some whipped cream on the key lime pie. 
but do I really care enough about it not to have the key lime pie for breakfast? Honestly, no. So, I guess in the end, I have insecurities just like everybody else does. And when I put myself in this environment where all of the women around me look fantastic, or to me, they seem to look fantastic, but I know in their own heads they have their own insecurities, but if my insecurity is having gray hair at this moment when I'm at the beach, I guess that's not too bad of a place to be. Like right now in front of me is a woman with her two children who are, uh, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old. She has this fantastic body. She's in her bikini. She's in the water with them. She's got beautiful long brown hair. And how long does she have to work to keep that body and to have the beautiful hair. Does she have gray hair underneath and she's coloring her hair? I don't know. And do I really care? It's just the fact that I'm sitting here on the beach and just checking everybody out. But you know, I look around and passing by me right now is a lady who is, I'm gonna say, she's probably 70. And she's walking down the beach, she's super fit, she's got gray hair, she's back in a ponytail, she's got her little sun visor on. And I just hope to good gosh that when I'm 70 years old, I can be doing that. I guess in the end, I don't care what color my hair is. And really, I guess in the end, it's not my insecurity. I think it's what makes me unique. And I just have to like work all that out in my head sometimes. I don't know guys, like what's, what is your insecurity? Is it your body? Do you have some kind of um, feature about your body that you don't like? Is it your weight? Is it your height? Is it just, is it your hair? Like a lot of times I, when I was younger, I used to be really insecure about my curly hair because growing up, nobody around me had curly hair, nobody. And so all the years of when I was in grade school and even in high school, I used to straighten my hair, try to straighten my hair the best that I could because I didn't know how to deal with the curls. Nobody in my school had curly hair and people made fun of me and it was just something I, I didn't know how to deal with. And I didn't start wearing my hair curly, like truly all the time curly um, until I had Kendall, who's now 21. So that's when I decided I was no longer gonna straighten my hair. I learned how to go curly and I've kind of owned it from that point on. So I guess that's where I am in the phase of the transition to gray hair. I'm all right with it most of the time, but I've got to figure out how to really own it because this week it's made me just a little bit insecure. You know, it's half grown out, it's not fully grown out. And on the beach, because I have curly, crazy hair, like I get all of this stuff blowing in the wind. I have never had that fabulous beach hair that all of these women have. I can't pull it back in a bun or in a ponytail and it be all sleek and shiny. I don't have that kind of hair. I'm never gonna have that kind of hair. I've gotta just learn that this is a process. This is a transition. I've got about another year to go and then I'm always going to have gray hair for the rest of my life. I know deep down that I am not ever going to color my hair again. I'm not. And I know that. So I just need to kind of settle down with a little bit of my insecurities and realize that this is me. I'm happy with me. I love my life and go back to rocking my gray hair. I hope that you all join me. Like if you're on the fence. Let this be sort of a lesson or just a little nugget that you could keep that even those that are ahead of you who have gone through the transition or are going through the transition, we even sometimes get insecure about it. But y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to power on. This is not going to stop me. I'm not going to let it be the end of my gray hair. I'm ready for the two-tone to be gone. I think it makes me look a little weird. And so maybe that's, maybe that is part of the reason that I'm feeling insecure on the beach this week because I'm not through the process. It's a little weird. And then I've got the flyaways everywhere and the wind and my visors on and it's just been a weird hair week. 
So maybe that is why I'm feeling a little bit insecure, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm owning the gray. I chose to do this. I am silver on purpose, and I know that. I hope that you all are enjoying my, my channel. I, I'm, I'm learning that I need to branch out and talk about things other than my hair, and there are things that I love, my life, things I just want to talk about and I'm enjoying talking about it with you all I feel like I have a group of friends like I'm kind of finding my tribe and love when you all comment and let me know what you're thinking or some of you offer suggestions which have been fantastic I love chatting with you but I would love for you all to subscribe to my channel let's just talk about this let's talk about life I feel like there are so many things to say, there are so many topics to talk about, and I just have so much to say. So for now, I'm gonna enjoy my last day on the beach, and I will see you when I get back to Kentucky.